tea? I don't know what you want. When you arrive where you want, guess what you'll need to be doing when you're there in order to hold on to your results? The same dang thing that got you there. I don't think for a moment if I went back to eating Lucky Charms, Whole Milk, Chef Boyardee, and macaroni and cheese craft out of the box, which is basically what I grew up on. Little Debbie cakes and candy. Do I think for a minute, if I went back to eating like that, that I wouldn't disease myself all over again? Oh no. I will never, nothing will stop me from eating the food that helps me thrive. Nothing. No one will stop me. Nothing will stop me. Nothing. I will never, never abandon the very lifestyle that saved me. I just won't. Healing is real. But you gotta know what you want. And most of all, you gotta know why you want it. Why do you want it? You wanna feel good because you got kids? Break it down. What does that really look like? You want to feel good because you're tired of feeling disgusted about yourself. You're tired of not even being in the moment with them because you're thinking what the heck you're going to eat, what you're not going to eat. You're tired of being addicted to food, right? You're tired of exploding on them because you're just so disgusted and you feel so bad and you're lethargic and you don't feel like dealing with children. Children are high energy and you ain't got none. Your own children become a thorn in your side. That's a problem. You wanted those kids. And even if you didn't, once you had them, you wanted them. Right? And now you can't even love them because you've forgotten how to love yourself. You don't love yourself enough to change. Is that the kind of mommy you want to give them? Is it? Is that what they deserve? You don't have enough self-love? Have some love for them. You love them? Give them an energetic mommy. Give them a mommy that's going to be around. Give them a mommy that's now a grandmommy that they're not going to have to worry what the heck's my mom's health going to be like I do. Why can't my mom remember? Why can't my mom like I feel? I will never put that kind of mental burden on my children. Because it's painful and I don't want to cause pain I want to cause joy you know what is it you want and why do you want it and quit letting food be more important than that stop doing it just stop doing it that might sound harsh but it's true You're on a raw vegan diet and you've got 100 pounds to lose, but you're gaining 20 every month? You're eating too much. What's happening? You really could be saying, well, I'm only eating up three cups full of food. Well, was it all nuts and dates? Your body could be at a standstill. All those things are true, but eventually your body's going to release the weight. High volume, high nutrient food that are low calorie paired with more nutrient dense, calorie dense food that you don't need as much of. Fresh, whole, ripe, raw fruits and vegetables with an emphasis on raw greens. Hydration, a low though adequate amount of properly balanced plant fat. Hydration, sleep, boundary setting, and border monitoring. And if people don't belong in your life, Get them out. It's your life. How about that? How about changing your life? Nobody's going to do it for you. It's kind of brilliant, though, because you already got you. You've been waiting, waiting on somebody to save you, waiting on somebody to complete you, waiting until your kids do right. They ain't doing right. They're kids. Wait until your husband supports you. Wait until he ain't cheating on you. Wait until your job respects you. Waiting, 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 waiting. There is no waiting. The only person you're waiting on is you to stop making excuses, right? And me to stop making excuses. 
You want some changes? Make the changes happen. What do you think? Hey, Maritza. How are you, beautiful? Hey, Francisca. You know, I saw something you said the other day on something. I don't know where it was. I must have been looking at your page. But you said somewhere something that was missing in your life, and I just thought... I, I've watched somebody very close to me in my life that had a very devastating childhood, and you know what? Things happen to everybody, and guess what's the worst thing? This really has nothing to do with what you said, but it made me think of it for some reason. Um... Everybody's thing that happened to them in their life is the biggest dang thing in the world because it happened to them. Use that for the rise of you and not demise of you. Just like I said about the cardboard box. May that box that encages you fall to the ground and may it become your dance floor. I used to love to play with boxes when I was a little girl, and they would be a castle, you know, and then there would be a rocket ship, and then there would be a store, and I would break it down, and then it would be like a teepee, and it would be all these different things, because my daddy, um, he always had these big boxes, and, um, and eventually, guess what it became? The best toy of all, the dance floor. Because that dance floor was where I wasn't creating things out of that the box. It was me creating the dance on the box. What do you want out of your life? Possibilities are endless. Doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter. I mean, I'm looking not too far along the lines, you know, of 50. And, um, it's pretty dang exciting. Because I can just imagine how strong I'll be then. And just like I was telling you about Ellie at the beginning, and I was telling you about me and how people have an opinion, that don't matter. Every situation is in your control for it to be the demise of you or the rise of you. May the situation not define you, but refine you. You picking up when I'm laying down? special today. <laughs> Hi Candy, how are you beautiful? Come in. There's always something coming towards you, did you know? Either you just got out of a situation or guess what? You're in one now. And if not, something's coming. I don't mind. Bring it. <laughs> when you're strong, when you're clear, clean and bright, everything's easier. Even the sucky stuff. Days are over. Dog days. 